This is a video demonstration of a thick slender problem. We will start moving the static structural analysis onto the project schematic. And if we look at the geometry properties, we will start doing a 2D analysis of that. So if we right click geometry and start the design modeler, that will allow us to create a two-dimensional uh, surface. So in Design Modeler, we can select the plane XY and we can look at the plane using this toolbar button from the front and we can also change our units to millimeters and start sketching on the XY plane. We will create two arcs by center. Click on arc by center and when you move the mouse at the centroid you'll see that there's a P symbol. That means there's a point constraint. So that's selecting the center and when the mouse is near the axis you'll see the C symbol next to the pointer and that's again a constraint for that point to be aligned with that x-axis and similarly the y-axis. So we can create two arcs and also two lines to enclose this. So we'll start the lines when we see the P symbol. So that's the automatic constraints on. So that's starting from this point to this point. So effectively that's the sketch completed. But I need to add some dimensions to it. So I can do that by clicking uh, dimensions and radius and if I click on this arc and the other arc you can see R1 and R2 defined and these are the values that are current in the details view. So the R1 I want to change that to 200 millimeters and R2 I want to change that to 100 millimeters. So that can be fit in the view using the uh, zoom to fit F7 function. So there are effectively two arcs and two lines uh, simply creating an enclosed sketch. If we go to the modeling tab on the uh, left window we can see that there's a plus sign on the XY plane and that is our sketch defined here. And what we can do next is create a concept of surfaces from sketches. So it is that surface that's going to be meshed with two-dimensional elements. So we need to create apply so that that sketch is selected and the operation is add material and if you want we can give it a thickness as well but it's not necessary in this case. So once we create this surface concept we still need to click on the generate button and that generates our uh, surface body. So now if we click on the plus sign we can see that our surface body is defined here and there's only one part and one body. So that is what we need to model in Design Modeler. And we can now take this geometry into Workbench Mechanical to create our um, 2D model. We are now back in um, Workbench Project Schematic and we will edit the model. So right click and click Edit and that will start ANSYS Mechanical. The 
the design modeler geometry is now attached on the mechanical model and what we can do is go to uh, the geometry and see the surface uh, body that we have created so um, the geometry itself has a behavior attached to it so this two-dimensional behavior by default is plane stress and that can be changed to axis metric plane strain or generalized plane strain etc so in this particular problem you'll use the plane strain option we can then look at the materials associated with this and by default ANSYS mechanical will select the structural steel with uh, Young's modulus of 200,000 megapascals Poisson ratio of 0.3 and all the rest of the typical properties for structural steel if we want to change that we can add other material models and assign that in our model so the particular geometry will need to be meshed and we need to define first of all a sizing option and that is going to be on this surface select the geometry and apply and element size let's try 10 millimeters to start with and we need to then click on generate so that the mesh is created and that's a relatively fine mesh and we can then do our boundary conditions under static structural we'll need to create supports um, in the shape of frictionless on the x-axis line and also on the y-axis line to signify um, symmetry boundary conditions and the next thing is to apply a pressure load and that is one megapascals on the inside surface so we'll select the inside line click on apply and also enter one megapascals for this internal surface and for solution we need to define what items we want to see as results so total deformation and a coolant stress as well as a maximum principle a minimum principle and middle principle are of interest we can click on solve and that takes a few seconds to solve this particular problem and uh, total deformation is a very small value 0 0.0009 millimeters so it's effectively about a, a one micron because the applied load is very small and this is a, a very large stuff um, steel structure the equivalent stress we can see on the inside surface is about 2.3 megapascals maximum principal stress for this problem corresponds to the hoop stress which is 1.66 megapascals on the inside surface minimum principal stress corresponds to the radial stress and on the inside surface that will be that will be the same as the pressure applied which is minus one megapascals and on the outside surface it is zero megapascals and middle principal stress is effectively the stresses in the z-axis that's due to this structure being constrained in the z-axis and um, it's a plain strain type problem and we can do some straightforward animations etc to see that the structure is behaving as uh, accurately as we expected so this concludes our uh, take pressure vessel to the plane strain analysis using workbench mechanical